Well, hello there, young ones. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. Here's what happened. My name is Kato Yohei, and my brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a swordmaster, so he once asked Sensei Domon of the Meikyo Shisui art to take him on as a disciple. Domon turned him away, took one look at him and said he didn't have what it takes to train in the art of the sword. But my brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. <laughs> you know, there really aren't as many evil spirits lurking around as you seem to think. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving toward for as long as he can remember, and now it's gone. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Hmm? <sighs> Whatever. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? If so, I'd love to hear about them. What? Rumors? I... I haven't heard anything. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please, you've got to help me. Miko, he seems really desperate. This thing with his brother sounds really bad. Come on, you should help him. Okay, fine. Then it's decided. Kato, whatever your name was, these two guests are trusted acquaintances of mine, and in fact, they are experts in resolving all manner of strange and supernatural phenomena. Exorcisms and that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them. Yeah! Uh, wait a sec! Um, r really? Is that hesitation that I detect in your voice? So, let me get this straight. You come begging to me for help, I actually recommend someone for the job, then suddenly you start doubting me? Not at all, never. Uh, whatever Lady Guji says, I trust wholeheartedly. Thank you two for your willingness to help. Please follow me. No, hold on a hot second, Miko. We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists! <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo-jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. Oh, poor thing. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I... well, how should I know? The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You don't know? But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Yohei, I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. This is a life or death situation. Uh, um, um... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. And yet, five whole days pass before it occurs to you to come and seek help from me. You really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? But, uh, I... As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did summon it together. <coughs> My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. You're right, you're right. We were wrong to do what we did. 
We had this coming. All right. Seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book. Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. <sighs> Even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. But who wrote this book? And why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? What do you think, Traveler? Well, when you put it that way, she has been pretty trustworthy so far. She said from the beginning that it wasn't anything major. And so far, there hasn't been any big danger. <sighs> Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda, what are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please, take a look. Let me see. What? We're losing market share? Yes. Overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. One book is topping the charts. It's called A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Both of you, back here now. Nico, what is it? You have a really scary look on your face right now. Things just got serious. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Just what is that supposed to mean? I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured work, and now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counterplan. And you are going to help me. Huh? How is this our problem all of a sudden? Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Wait, what, uh, what just happened? Uh, 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 again, you technically have a point, but... Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. I'm going to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. All right, Nico. We're here. So what's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Hmm. Why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Hmm. Oh, Paimon knows! Combine the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Oh, wow! Your first guess and you got it absolutely... Wrong. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! What are you trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? 
Oh, <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war. I sense, yes, great power within him. Good. Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake him again. This body now belongs to me! Miko! Think of something! Miko! Miko! <laughs> Mom! You're laughing? <laughs> oh, Rakusai, you haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. You were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? Huh! <sighs> you guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? Oh, well, there's no way out now. We're in too deep. Hmm, just as I thought. The ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hmm? Oh, I'm great. But the look on your face just now... I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... No. Oh. Honestly, you two. Pico. Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Ha, huh, my little friends. There you are. Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. Alrighty. Uh... What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? 
I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Nico, you are outrageous! Last time we were here working on a novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! Hmm? Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Miko, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way, since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. Wrong. 